welcome back again red. Nemanja Matic sends transfer message to Joao Neves amid Manchester United links. Man United have been heavily linked with the possibility of signing Benfica midfielder Joao Neves in recent months. Former Manchester United midfielder Nemanja Matic has advised Joao Neves to stay at Benfica for now amid reports linking him with a move to Old Trafford. United, who are gearing up to face Coventry City in the semi-finals of the FA Cup at Wembley on Sunday, are set to be in the mix for a new defensive midfielder this forthcoming summer. Casemiro, now 31, has regressed at an alarming rate this season and is need of replacing. According to a report coming out of Portugal earlier this week, United have installed Neves, 19, as their top target for the summer. A report also claimed United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe had met Neves' agent, who is renowned super agent Jorge Mendes, to discuss the possibility of a transfer for the youngster. Neves has excelled for Benfica this season, racking up 50 appearances in all competitions and chipping in with three goals. Though he is primarily a defensive midfielder, he can also operate as a box-to-box -box midfield player. Widely considered as one of the most exciting midfielders in Europe, links to clubs of United stature comes as little surprise. However, former United star Matic, who spent five years at Old Trafford between 2017 and 2022, believes it would be in the youngster's best interest to continue his development at Benfica for the time being. I think it's too early for him to take that step of leaving, Matic told Portuguese newspaper O Jogo. If I were him, I would stay at Benfica for a few more years to play in the Champions League and to mature more. I'm sure his time will come, and therefore, he doesn't need to rush. Joao is already at a big club at this point. I'm sure his future at Benfica will be very good. I think it's too early to leave, but of course, in the end, it's always his decision. Neves, who started all six of Benfica's matches in the Champions League earlier this season, has been heavily linked with a move to United in recent weeks. Last month, United skipper Bruno Fernandes, who spent time with the youngster on international duty, said he was ready to make the jump to a big club. Fernandes said, I don't know if United rumors are true, but I know he is ready for that big jump. He is an excellent player. He's with the national team. That's also why the big clubs are after him, again and again. Ivan Tony, looking to earn more than Bruno Fernandes to push through Man UT transfer as wage demands revealed. Ivan Tony is hoping to pocket more than Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes if he joins the Red Devils this summer. Tony has been heavily linked with a move away from Brentford, with previous reports speculating that Arsenal were frontrunners. However, United have emerged as potential dark horses in the race for his signature amid their torrid goal-scoring campaign. The issue for many suitors is the combination of Brentford's fee and Tony's expected wages, which are understood to be around $250,000 per week. This number, which amounts to $13 million per year, is also why Brentford aren't close to an extension. If Tony were to join the Red Devils on his preferred wages, he'd collect 10 k more per week than their skipper Fernandez. Mason Mount and Anthony Martial currently earn that 250 k weekly figure, despite rarely featuring this season. United are no strangers to overpaying players and have the fourth highest wage bill in the Premier League, despite being seventh in the standings. In fact, if Tony produces goals for United, that would see him be well worth the high wage compared to the rest of the team. United could save millions in wages if they achieve their plans for a mass exodus this summer, with Casemiro, Rafael Varane, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, and Jadon Sancho all set to leave the club. Last week, it was widely reported that the Bees had lowered their asking price from $100 million to $40 million, but this was later dismissed by manager Thomas Frank after Brentford beat Sheffield United 2 on Saturday. Frank said, Normally I don't go into these price labels, but I would say 30-40 millions is very cheap for a 20-goal goal scorer in the Premier League. The initial 100 million fee caused Arsenal and Chelsea to cool their interest in the England international. Arsenal would prefer to bring in a younger profile of striker and may launch a bid for Sporting CP's Victor Gyokaris this summer. Still, Brentford will likely ask for around $80 million for Tony this summer, according to Ben Jacobs. Meanwhile, 
Man United manager Eric Ten Hag is under increased scrutiny between now and the end of the season after a poor campaign. Former Manchester United captain Steve Bruce believes there is a good chance Eric Ten Hag is part of the plan at Old Trafford. The Dutch manager is under heavy scrutiny at the moment following a disappointing season. United crashed out of the Champions League in embarrassing fashion and did not put up much of a better showing in the Carabao Cup. United have fallen completely out of the race for Champions League qualification through the Premier League and their only glimmer of hope this season is the FA Cup. Ten Hag now faces a battle to keep hold of his position at Old Trafford and men's sport understands. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is unconvinced by the current boss. However, despite the negatives this season, Bruce believes he has seen evidence of why Ten Hag's position is safe. He told TalkSport, It certainly sounds by his interview that they have a plan for Ten Hag to stay. There is certainly a plan in place above him. They have put in structures above him. I know people are on gardening leave, but I am sure by the summer it will be resolved. Dan Ashworth, the new CEO, Omar Barada, the kid from Southampton, Jason Wilcox. It looks as if there is a plan in place. Certainly by the sounds of Ten Hag, he feels like he's part of it, and I genuinely hope he is given a chance under the new ownership. The big thing, I think, for all Man United fans is recruitment and how they improve that. There's no doubt that they have spent a hell of a lot of money. However, have they got it right with the type of player you have to be to play for Man United? Man United sets the highest standards. You're under intense scrutiny. And by the way, so is the manager. Everybody is judged on results. It will be interesting to see going forward. Ten Hag, I hope they will go with him and put the people in place above him to drive the club forward. But they've got a hell of a lot of work ahead of them. Meanwhile, Manchester United still in the hunt to sign Stuttgart's Serho Guirassi. Reports from HITC suggest United-linked Stuttgart striker Serho Guirassi wants to test himself in the Premier League next season. The 28-year-old started this season in sensational form and with 24 goals to his name from 22 matches, only England captain Harry Kane has been more prolific than him in the Bundesliga. Guirassi is expected to leave Stuttgart this summer, despite only joining the German side from Stade René last summer. He cost $9 million and is thought to have a release clause around the $15 million. And now his current manager has told BBC Sport how he believes the player will join one of Europe's top clubs in the next year. I believe Lenny in the next year will be at one of the best clubs in Europe, Fonseca said. He started here at 16 with us. He is very ambitious but very disciplined. He grew a lot, but he is a kid with a big maturity, with big quality. He's very focused, very concentrated. He wants to learn every day, and I have no doubt in modern football he will be one of the best central defenders in the world.